So we will just start by uh, making the same program that you have done in C sharp, which is uh, the the first calculator that you that you've done. Uh huh. Um, so we will use we will create two text box that we will put on the stage. To create the text box. It's the the T icon. Uh, T. Yeah. And you just draw a box. Yeah, make it smaller. Okay. And then uh, wait on on the right. There is the properties window. Uh huh. Change it. Uh, it is written static text. Change it to uh, dynamic text. Okay. Okay. The difference is a uh, static text. Uh, you can't interact with it uh, with code, uh, and dynamic te text is for interaction. Okay. So now you can click away. So this is the first text box, and we will create another one. Okay. For uh, the second number. It will be a dynamic text too. And finally, a third one for the answer. Okay. And we will create a button after that. For now, it, it will be like that. Okay, so, so the first two ones, we have to change Click on, on the. If you want to delete it, just click the selection tool. It's the black arrow on the left, uh -huh. and just click it, and then click delete to remove it. Or <laughs> cut or. Where's delete? Delete on your keyboard. Oh. Okay, so select the first one with the uh, the. Like that. On the right, we will change dynamic to input text. Input. And we'll give it a name. So that's the same thing in that in the Visual Studio. We will call it I don't know like a number one. Maybe more text box one. Okay, text. And I recommend you to uh, yeah, like that with the. Um, what is minuscule in, in, in English? Lowercase. Lowercase. Yeah, lowercase. So the first letter in lowercase and then the all the letters of the other words in the uppercase. Okay, so text box one, it's an, an input text. And on the uh, below, you have a little box right here. It's written uh, if you... I don't know if you see it on my computer. Show bo border um. around text. I don't. Do you see my mouse? Show border around text. Yeah, click on that. Okay. So it so it has created. Uh, if you click outside of your yeah, you, so now there is a border. I do of the other one too. Yeah, exactly. We'll we call it, it text okay. box two. We change it to input text, and we will uh, click yeah. on uh, the border. So that's and for the last one, last one is like a label because it's only a dynamic, and there is no border. So, and, but but we have to give it a name. So text text box three, maybe. So one two text box three. Okay. Uh, so now we have to write some code. So to write code. Just below that, we have our timeline because in Flash we can make movies. And at the bottom of your timeline, there is a, a, a little icon which uh, is new layer. The top uh, at the bottom left, yeah, this one. Click on that. Layers are used. For, uh, are you uh, used to uh, draw like in Photoshop or? Uh, Wait, well, I understand what layers are. Okay. Perfect. So uh, the first layer maybe uh, change its name for uh, code. Code. Uh, okay. See the difference. The 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 second one, the one that you write code, is the one where we uh, put our text box. So maybe we will ch change its name for text boxes. Instead of code. 
No, code will be the one above. Oh, the layer layers two? Three. Yeah. Mm. Layer two or whatever you want. And the first one, yeah. Because this one is empty. Um, you see the red line uh, mm -hmm. on the right of your cursor? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there is like some little uh, rectangles. Mm -hmm. There's one in gray. This means that there is something in it. If you click on it, it will select all the text boxes. And on the one above, it is white because it is empty. It doesn't contain any object. Okay. So if you want to insert code, you, you have to put your code in a layer. So uh, programmers usually create a layer just for the, their code. So click on the white empty rectangle uh -huh. and click on write and uh, actions. Action. You can also press F9. So this is the action window where you type your code, and you can click on the uh, little arrow here to uh, hide the code snippet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what we are going to do, it's uh, nearly the same thing that you did in, in C Sharp. Mm -hmm. So first we will uh, create a variable that will store the uh, the input in the first text box. So, to so create in integer. Yeah. It it's a little bit different. You have to type var. Uh, I will just change mine for uh, a bigger. Just let me a second. Okay, so okay. Var. And then you type the, the, the name of your variable. So maybe number one. Uh, semicolon, I think. Dirt point. Yeah, is it semi semicolon? Semicolon is the one with like le point virgule. Okay, uh, uh, how do you call this one? A colon. Colon. Okay. So colon, and then the the variable type, which is int. Int. I N T. Yeah. And then equals the value that you want. So uh, the value that we want is text box one dot text. It's nearly the same thing. Text with a capital. Uh, no, th there is no capital uh, in properties in Flash. So now I should do like the exact same thing, but with number two and text box two. Yeah, but before, for, right now we have the same problem that is that in C sharp, it's the text box dot text is is a string, as number one is an integer. So we have to convert the string into an integer. To do that, we, uh. it, it's really simple. We just have to insert uh, int and then open parentheses. Okay. And if you want to convert it into a string, it's in, it's simply string open parentheses. And number Should I put a dot at the end. Uh, yeah, you have to put a semicolon, but flash is uh, no, no no dot no dot. You have to put a semicolon, but the flash accepts it if you don't put one. So we'll do the same for number two. Whoops. Oh, I forgot to copy it. Copy. Paste. Number two. Okay. Okay. And I will show you now how to uh, display the answer with... Um... Okay, no. We need a button. I forgot that. We need a button to compute that. Okay. So you can double click on the light gray bar right here to uh, open and close. Yeah. So it's easier. I prefer. Yeah. Okay. So to, okay, we will now draw a button. A button. There is no button in the uh, tools bar, but you have to draw one. So I can just like take the pen and draw one? Yeah, it will be a, a little bit ugly if you do that, but we will take the rectangle tools. Okay. Okay, uh, just before you draw one, uh, yeah, uh -huh. okay, on the left or on the right, you have two colors. There is a little pen and a fill bucket, a paint bucket. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, below that, 
there is a gray color and a blue color. Do you see it? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, right here. Right. Yeah. So you can change the color. You have, you have to understand that in Flash, everything is a line, which is a border, or a fill, which is in borders. So the, the bucket, the paint bucket, is for the fill color, and the, the pen is for the border color, the, the line color. So we can choose two. I don't know, green. And on the right, you have more property uh, properties if you want. Uh, the, the, it's the same thing. You can change the color, but the, you can change change the stroke uh, size, which is the 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 thickness of the the line in pixel. So now it's at one pixel. Maybe I'll put mine at three. Uh, you can even change the type of the line if you want to be solid, dashed, dotted. Uh, Okay. And you can even uh, below that do like a round rectangles where it's written. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Here, if you want to have round corner, you can change all the corner. But we'll we'll uh, keep that like this for now. Okay. So when you're ready, just just create a new layer maybe for the button. It will be uh, easier to manage. Layer three. Uh, call it what? Button. 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 Okay. And then now I put the button now. Yeah, you draw it where where you want. Okay. Above that, we will put a, a text, a static text. So you choose the, click on the T icon, change it to um, static. Static. Yeah. And then you draw a rectangle. Type your text like a. OK or compute or whatever you want. Compute? By uh, anything. It will be the button that we press. Uh, Oops, we can't see it. OK, mm -hmm. so, so take take your, um, your, OK, yeah. I guess I just change it here. Let's say red. Okay. And you have all the text option. You can change the the font, the the size. <laughs> okay, uh, you you can yeah. Okay. Okay. Right now, uh, it's only a shape, which is a line and fill. And a text field above, okay. Uh, like you can click on the field and change the color. If you just click on the field, the okay. field like here. Uh, this is the border. You can change the. This is the field. Uh huh. And you ch can change the color or whatever you want. Okay. Uh, you can even if you if you just uh, put your mouse your cursor. Just on the line, you will see uh -huh. a little uh, curve icon, and then uh -huh. if you click and you move, you can like curve the line, and the fill will follow. Uh, okay, not like that. Okay, just put your mouse. Uh, Control Z, yeah. Just put your mouse over, yeah, like that, and then click. Uh -huh. and, move, and move. Okay, it's just to show you uh, how you can draw in Flash. But. I made a smiley face. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so when you're ready, we will uh, convert our uh, our button in, in a real button. So select everything by uh, drawing. Yeah, like this. Like this. And then uh, at the top, click Modify. Modify. Convert to Symbol. Convert to symbol. Everything in Flash except a text field has to be in a symbol if you want to interact with it uh, with code. So okay. we will call it, I don't know, BTN1. And we will change its, ty its type for button. Button. Okay, now I just click OK. okay. 